In a farmer's field, just southeast of Lemington Spa, stands a rather peculiar structure. When viewed in the winter months, it will leave you wondering what its purpose is. However, in the summer, it transforms and answers all those questions. Standing at 36 feet tall, Chesterton Windmill was built in 1632 by Sir Edward Pato, who was the Lord of Chesterton Manor. The windmill is very unique, as its base is open, accessed by six large arches. The open area once contained a wooden grain store, but this was removed in the 1930s. Work was undertaken to improve the windmill in 1776 and 1860, but by 1910 the mechanisms inside the windmill had failed and could not be repaired. As a result, the miller at Chesterton Windmill, William Haynes, moved to another windmill around a mile away, leaving Chesterton Windmill abandoned. As Chesterton Windmill sat unused, small repairs took place to the sails but it was not enough to stop further deterioration taking place. In the 1950s, a sail broke off and left Chesterton Windmill in a very sorry state. In the 1960s, Warwickshire County Council took ownership of the tower and plans were put in place for a full restoration project. Restoration work started in 1969 and was completed over the course of two years, with the windmill opening to the public in 1971. Since then, the windmill has stood proud and has become a much-loved landmark in Warwickshire, even featuring on the crest of the local football club. So, why does it look different in summer and winter? Due to being situated on top of a hill that can suffer from high winds, the sails are removed in the autumn to prevent them from being damaged during the winter. Come spring, the sails are once again added so it can pose in all its glory for its famous sunset photos. <laughs> 